Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you my Nmax collection. So I got quite a few, but I'm gonna show you my favorite ones, my luxury ones, because I actually own three of you know more expensive one and then two that are like more high-end. So I'm gonna start with the high-end ones uh, just because yeah they're like closer to me so it's gonna be easy to grab them and both of them I got them from TK Maxx which is like yeah, a huge shop here in the uh, UK and you can find in there like um, even luxury uh, you know items um, for like yeah quite like a cheap price the reason behind is you can find things that of course they're like out of season they're like yeah previous collection so of course they are cheaper you're not gonna find chanel but you know you can find sometimes moschino you can find maybe some like uh Lujo pieces you know some kind of kind of like the expensive stuff but of course you know not the super super top high-end one anyway the first one is this very cute backpack and it's from steve madden i don't know if you can see that uh i mean it's quite you can see compact you see next to my face like yeah how big it is it's so cute leopard print it's got yeah this very nice steve madden in here i love it because i mean it's got of course a zip in here and then it's got these side pockets which are super handy for me to put the umbrella i mean i live in london so you always carry umbrella there's going with two of them and then of course it's got a very big zip that goes all over and inside it's amazing because it's got oh mm, hair clip um so <laughs> for saying inside it's got like this zip pocket in here and then it's got like um, another nail file another layer pocket in here and of course it's quite roomy as well i mean this is perfect i use this mostly um I would say in summer, but I mean, I've used it, you know, nevertheless, in any season. It's um, quite roomy, but it's not too big, so it's perfect for me for like every day if you go out and about and you want to just carry a few things, but not too much. This is perfect. And of course, yeah, these are uh, uh, adjustable as well, so perfect. And I think I pay for this around probably like, you know, 30 pounds or something like that, so quite a reasonable price and that's the first one then the second one oopsie Holy. so the second one again is a backpack and is steve madden again and is this so you can see actually like yeah this is quite bigger uh it's got steve madden here all over and i love this one this one for me is my traveling backpack so i have my you know carry on of course but this is where I keep yeah, my passport, you know, if I have any, let's say when I go to USA, I have my, you know, my travel documents and everything, it fits everything in here. It's got a very nice pocket in the front, which is quite roomy. And then, not only that, it's got another pocket in here. And then it's got a pocket in the back, you can see face mask in there. And then it's got a huge double zip. Okay. and the top part and it's got of course as always like yeah a lot a lot of inside pockets you can see for your phone for your lipstick for everything to be honest um this again i think it was like um around probably like yeah 40 pounds pretty pretty like you know expensive <coughs> and not cheap but expensive but beautiful it's got also like yeah this which you can you know remove if you don't like it but i think it's quite you know it's quite cute and this is leather as well so quite beautiful uh, again this like has been my friend this summer when i went back home because you know it was just perfect um for traveling so very good again adjustable strap at the back quite roomy i mean of course it's like you know can use it every day it's not just for traveling but i think it's perfect for that so those are my favorite high-end bags you know but not too expensive now i'm gonna show you my little gems if you will so first one is the, the first one that i bought i mean i didn't buy this actually my friend 
gifted to me so and it's like yeah see by chloe beautiful and tiny yeah messenger bag so this i mean this i honestly use it i mean i cannot even say too much because it's not enough i use it for years um i mean of course it's only like yeah this he has like a, a little inside pocket but you can barely fit anything in there let's be let's be realistic um but that would be an issue for me because i don't really carry a lot of stuff i mean mm -hmm. i keep finding things in my bag you can see that um of course it's leather it's, it's tiny but for instance in this one i can fit my phone which is like the iphone 11 and it fits in here and then of course i put my card holder what we like yeah your keys and that's it because you know that's tiny uh but i mean it's tiny but actually fits more than you would think so that is beautiful and it's like you know this very lovely color which is kind of like a taupe maybe you know color very nice anyway and it's called like yeah the logo see by glow in here and the key very sweet i mean i've been using that yeah to that and to be honest, I use that in summer, in winter, and I never go ruined. Like, you know, with rain, anything like, yeah, nothing has happened to this bag. Like, I'm, I'm going to link down below if, you know, you can find this bag anywhere. Um, I think it was retailing for around probably like, you know, 300 pounds or something like that. But I might be wrong. I mean, so it, it's sold. It's got like probably, I want to say three or four years or so. Anyway, that was like my first one. Then, second one I actually bought myself. And it was, yeah, I feel a gift to myself. And it was like, um, I think like, uh, well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you and then explain. So, it's another like, yeah, see by Chloe. And it's like, yeah, this very nice. Hopefully you can see, you can see, yeah, in here, yellow color, of course leather the logo beautiful like you know tan strap it is like you know bigger and it's got sorry so it's got this pocket in here where you can put your cards and then you open and you go this so it is actually like you know for a small bag quite roomy and it's like you know so cute you can see like you know close to to this yeah i mean that's quite a difference this i got it from a website which i will link down below because it's like a gem an hidden gem i mean it's not even an hidden but it was hidden to me and it's called uh vestiaire collect collective vestiaire collective so beautiful amazing website where basically you can buy uh, you can buy everything um lux luxury like uh, any luxury brand for like you know cheaper prices so on vestiaire basically you find seller like kind of like an ebay that you know sells their own like yeah, luxury handbags or clothing or like your suitcases you can find literally anything and they have like you know a price and of course you can make offers same as like i put i mean i was saying on ebay so you can make offers and you can end up actually buying the things that you want for even a cheaper price because it might be second hand or like in this case this person bought this bag and then changed their mind and they were selling it but I think I ended up paying for this one probably 150 pounds, which, you know, quite like, you know, quite inexpensive. Um, I mean, don't forget that like, yeah, it's still a Chloe bag. I mean, of course, this is like, you know, the C by Chloe is like, you know, the kind of like more affordable, you know, um, version, like, you know, of the Chloe bag. Yes, but still. And it's leather, like, so, you know, it's not a piece of plastic. And I highly recommend, yeah go on this website download the app like here yeah, on your phone because you can actually add items into your wish list and they're gonna you know notify you if there's any changing in price because basically after a certain amount of time the price you know might go down so you're gonna get a notification and you can know oh wow now i can actually purchase that or make an offer or you know anything so um i have my eyes like you know on a few things in there but for now i'm just like you know browsing but believe me you'll love it so that was like yeah my first bag that i bought from them and then let's go to my favorite bag of all time this is like you know this is my baby uh this is like you know i've been wanting this bag for like ages 
and I was thinking and thinking and thinking and at the end I got it because you know when you keep thinking about something it means you really want it so you have to buy and it's this this is the Yves Saint Laurent blogger bag this is you know the most expensive bag that I ever owned in my life uh, and also the smallest like the smallest bag that I ever owned this is tiny like uh, if you thought that this was tiny I mean you can see this is tiny but now um this i think retails for around probably like 800 pounds i will anyway leave all the information because um i might be wrong but um they have so many um vestiaire collected like so many so many people are selling these bags not just in black you can find also like you know different colors or different variation of like you know or the kind of like blogger bag but that was the one that i wanted and of course i was like i cannot spend 800 or more on a bag i mean of course it's like you can but i was like you know i cannot so i went there start browsing you know just like you know putting my wish list a few of them and of course then i get a notification that you know one of the you know the bags that was in my wish list and did not change in price and i think the seller was asking for this bag 600 pounds or 650 anyway i offer 550 and she said yes so i got this bag for 550 pounds this is a brand new bag because it came already with the tag because again the, this person bought it and then changed her mind so he had like um, still like you know the, the tag and everything it came with you know the dust bag of course um it was brand new never used 550 so now um you can actually trust this website because um the seller once you like you know let's say i bought this bag so the seller has to uh, before they actually take the money from your bank account the seller needs to send the bag to vestia collective they have people there highly qualified which um who oh, sorry i'm gonna uh, check the bag see if the bag you know um, has everything that the seller put in the description so let's say that this bag had any flaws or something everything needs to match with the description they can of course even certify the bag that is actually like authentic so it's genuine like you know if Saloran and not a fake and if the bag you know passes all the tests then you will get the bag so in that case then you know they will get the money the money will be sent to the seller and the bag will come to you so I think it's amazing because you um, you can be sure that you're getting what you paid for, um, even if it's a second hand bag, because of course you can find second hand bag, but again, if they have any flaws, they're gonna make sure that, you know, the flaws are just the one that the seller put in the description, nothing else. So this bag, I mean, I, I wish you could like, you know, touch it because it's the soft, um, softest and smoothest leather ever. It's expensive, yes, but I can assure you the quality of this leather is just unreal. It's amazing. I use this every day, so I mean now um, it's got like yeah, this pocket, but normally I put like my mask and you know sometimes receipt as you can see, and then it only has this pocket. Uh, I mean my now it's got like yeah, for all my cards, my keys. It's got like yeah, also this where you can eventually put your cards. I don't, but you can. And then it's got like yeah, some more pockets in here. So my bags at the moment I got a pen, yeah, my card holder, another card holder where I have like yeah, my semi boots card, and I got like I mean like you know, all the kind of supermarket you know card that kind of stuff. My yeah, house key. I have to say, this bag doesn't fit my phone. So if you go an iPhone 11, probably even the 10. Uh, it doesn't fit in here so just so you know like it's small it's very small i love it anyway i use this bag every day that's why it's got all my stuff in it um but it doesn't fit you know big phone so normally my phone is like in my pocket because this bag no it doesn't fit but nonetheless i still love it i don't care that it doesn't fit my phone i still use it every single day and um, i have to be honest i'm like you know careful person but not even too much so this bag again even if the leather is very soft and you will think it you know can get scarf or scratches it never happened to me but i mean i'm not super rough 
of course like you know i make sure they're not you know paying this bag everywhere or just throw it you know i i have respect for this bag because you know i paid money for it so i have respect but yeah that's my favorite bag most expensive bag and also my last bag so with this i have to conclude this kind of like a uh, handbag collection which i hope you enjoy if you did please like the video subscribe hit the notification bell you know and let me know if you own any you know high-end or luxury bags um because i mean i'm always like you know curious to see what other people have if you know any other websites apart from like you have vestiaire collective that you want to recommend because i love buying bags but sometimes they are expensive so if you have any you know advice any tips for me or for anyone watching this video please leave it down below because you know sharing is caring so yeah uh, anyway guys that's all for me today so um yeah i'll see you next time